hi there. Okay. Where we're heading next is back to the Ruto room where she respawns. Ow. Stupid enemies. Why do they all try to kill me? What is the point of killing me? I'm just passing by. Ow! Oh my goodness. This is so wrong. <laughs> Die! Ow! <laughs> I'm getting murdered. Why doesn't the princess get hurt? Why is it only me? Anyways, there was a uh, tentacle thing in this uh, hole before that was preventing you from going down, but now we are free to go on our merry way, and down here you'll actually find two Skulltulas, so you can pick up both of their tokens while we're here with the boomerang. This should take us up to, I think, 28? Maybe? 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 We'll find out in a second. Oh, darn it, I missed. <laughs> I missed again. This cannot feel good to Lord Jabu Jabu. He's probably like, what is that weird feeling? Yes, 28. Okay, continuing on, make sure you have the princess on hand this time, or in this case, on head. And then she's gonna start squirming. Oh, look at that. The last of the spiritual stones that I desperately need. Well, now we can go home. Good day, good day. I'm so proud of you, Rudo. Yeah, let's go home. Um, do you expect me to go up there? Fine, if you insist. Huh? Aww, oh, she's gone. Oh, that's just too bad. Oh boy, it is mini-boss time, and it's a rather irritating mini-boss. There's two strategies to fighting good old, what's his name? I actually forget his name. Uh, giant Octorok? No, is it really? Well, it's an Octorok, and it's a giant. Ah, uh, no, it's like Big Octo or something. Uh, yeah, it is Big Octo. <laughs> There's two strategies to fighting him. One, you just trail behind him and try to catch up and then eventually boomerang him. Watch out for the spikes on the center platform. They can hurt you. Um, and then slash him from behind and then rinse and repeat. Just keep trying to follow him. The other strategy, which is actually far easier, is to just stand still and let him come to you and then stun him and then stun him again and hit him and the problem with that method that is the reason I don't like that method is I always get hit when I do that method and I just don't care for it um, but it is the easier method I'm just going to do the trailing him method although I seem to be taking a lot of hits from this <laughs> despite uh, this supposed to be the safer method Whoops. I'm gonna end up dying from the spikes. This is sad. This is really pitiful. I've just had a long streak of bad luck with filming recently. Oh boy, he turned around. I forgot he could do that. <laughs> I'm gonna die from hitting spikes. Thankfully, it only does like a heart, a fourth of a heart of damage. Can you just sit still so I can kill you, please? That would make my life so much easier. All right, there we go. There we go. Now we're finally getting the hang of this. Oh, he's dead? That wasn't hard. <laughs> that was easy. He'll drop a few hearts should you need them. And then up we go. Anyways, in this room, there's only one door we can go to. I believe one of these pots has a fairy in it, and I actually happen to have an empty bottle, so why not? Yeah. Fairy in a bottle. Boy, Link is so cruel. He forces these precious 
innocent fairies to be confined to a bottle. Boy, <laughs> George Van's right. I really am abusive. <laughs> oh, dude. Hey, I can't help it. Fairies in a bottle are useful. Anyways, into this room. Interesting puzzle. Uh, you might want to kill the Octorok. I just chose to ignore him, but you can stun those giant jellyish, globish things with your boomerang, and that'll allow you to do whatever. And then we could hop on over here, and this will force the platform to drop down to a room we were in before. And over here, we can... Uh, unfortunately, we don't have Rudo. So uh, there's a box in a nearby area over here, and then we could use that to set it down onto the switch. And Rupee! Yay! One whopping Rupee! Hit the switch, and we can enter the door. Whoops, did I really miss? I did miss. I thought I had that box on the switch. Failure! Boy, that animation is so annoying. Into this room. Well, it is quite the interesting room. Uh, there's a lot of enemies here that you can just kind of boomerang to death. <laughs> um, unfortunately, I can't seem to hit them from this far away. Maybe I can slingshot them. Nope, I think they're immune to that. Yes! Dead! Die! Uh, there's a Skulchua somewhere in this room. I'm trying to remember where. There was one more enemy. There it is. Die! Mahahaha. <laughs> um, up there. Yes, right there. And you could actually just slingshot it and then climb up. I'm going to use the boomerang because for whatever reason that feels easier. No, give me my stupid token. Thank you. And that'll give us 29. Okay, uh, I think we actually have to climb up these vines. <laughs> kind of forgot about this part. Anyways, uh, over there, there's a switch that we need to hit. But unfortunately, something is in our way, so we must boomerang it. You could just uh, L target it and it will do the job. Then we could hop on down. And that will open up the boss store. How spooky. Oh boy. Nice jellyfish looking thingy ma bobbers. Oh boy. It is. Baronade. That just sounds like such an awesome name for a bioelectric something. Yeah, complicated words for the win. This is a very lengthy and annoying boss battle. First stage is the big tentacles on top. Just circle around it and use your uh, boomerang. And then he's going to have jellyfish circle you from every angle. And... This is actually quite a challenging boss battle. This makes uh, King Dodongo look lame, and I do mean it. Uh, this is a much more challenging boss battle, and he does try to shoot you, and it's irritating. And, yeah. <laughs> uh, when you stun his center core, the jellyfish gets stunned also. So it helps to try to stun him, and then just kill off the jellyfish, and then stun the center again. And then he's going to get more aggressive after you kill off his first wave. And he's going to start spinning around and... Ah, it's so irritating. Um, my personal strategy for this is just to keep throwing the boomerang. You have no idea how useful that actually is to just keep throwing it. And, oh darn it. This is really, really bad. <laughs> It is so difficult to L-target, and I hate it. Like, when I'm filming, I just hate L-targeting, and this is something you really have to L-target on, or else it just does not work. Alright. Stun. Die already, please. Thank you. 
And then after two waves of jellyfish are out of the way, we are pretty much to the last stage of this. He'll kind of just spin around and we're almost done, thankfully. Die! No! Die faster! <laughs> Um, nope, not dead yet. Ow. <laughs> uh, making this look more difficult than it really is. King Dodongo and Queen Goma are ridiculously easy, but Baronade will give you some troubles the first time you see him. Um, once you get the hang of him, though, he's actually really not that bad. I'm just failing miserably because I'm having a hard time L-targeting. Otherwise, he's really not that bad. Die! Die! Dead. What a really oddly disgusting dying animation. Like, weird. Yeah. <laughs> Very odd. As usual for beating a boss, pick up your heart container. Because we need more hearts! Yay! And then we can teleport out... You again? What are you doing here? Ugh. You, you're late. What took you so long? You are you... Gee, I feel so glad I saved you. So ungrateful. Well, thank you and good night.